Simeon Brown. Good afternoon. Good, a- good afternoon. How are you? Um, I'm going well, my friend. I know you're very busy. Look, I... I'm firstly, before we get on to that, um, it seems it's gone without a hitch in Auckland, removing the fuel tax. You haven't had any major, heard anything from fuel companies or, or constituents? Oh, look, I think, I think the, um, the fuel tax has, uh, um, axing the fuel tax that Labor put in has gone very well. Um, the price of fuel has dropped. Um, mm. Aucklanders are very happy to not be paying more money for speed bumps, um, which is what Labor was spending the money on. <laughs> Uh, in place, Minister of the Fuel Tax, the government plans to introduce time of use charging to build motorists at certain times of the day. Um, have you? How progressed are we with this? When, when is this likely to happen? Well, the government hasn't made policy decisions yet. We will be doing so um, over the next couple of months. Mm. But look, it's about making sure that we can maximise efficiency of the transport network in Auckland. Congestion's a massive issue. Uh, this is not about revenue raising. It's about making sure that we use price to manage demand and to make sure we're maximising the amount of uh, capacity on our roading network. So that's the, that's, the, that's the purpose. We've made a coalition agreement with the ACT Party around that um, and we're working through those policy decisions as we speak. But i make two key points. One, it's not a revenue raising policy. Two, it's a primary purpose is about maximising efficiency of the network so people can get where they need to go more quickly. And, but, um, uh, and, and, and that's, that's very different from, from what Labor had in terms of a regional fuel tax, which was pa- um, charging people um, with the outcome being speed bumps. And, and I do get that, but I mean, if you are still charging to use the road at a certain time, I mean, that will raise revenue at, because people will pay it. Yeah, ultimately there will be um, some revenue, but the primary purpose will be to uh, increase efficiency. Um, And so if you look around the world, um, some countries have um, congestion charges which do have a revenue raising purpose and they raise Mm. quite a lot of money. Um, We're not intending this to be one which raises significant sums of money. We're intending its primary purpose to be one that covers its costs and maximises efficiencies uh, of the roading network using price. And price is used as a signal in many networks um, you think about electricity, uh, it's used as a, a clear price signal is used there to uh, manage demand during peak periods. It's similar mm. to that um, on our roading network. Um, but ultimately, we've been very clear, it's not about raising revenue. It's primary purpose is about maximising efficiency so people can get prices quicker. And actually, that's good for our economy, that's good for productivity, that's good for um, helping particularly those freight operators trying to get through Auckland who really do struggle um, with the congestion that we face. Uh, can we, um, Minister, move on to the, the resetting of your driver's licence? You said there were yes. unacceptable wait times. Did you Do you have examples? Well, the average um, number of days it was taking for someone to be able to get a test um, from when they booked it was went up from 13 days on average prior to Labor making the change to um, unlimited resets to over 60 uh, days. So it was Jeez. taking um, young Kiwis... Uh, more than two months from the day they booked their test to when they would be able to actually sit it. And quite frankly, that's unacceptable. Um, you know, there's um, young Kiwis trying to get a driver licence so they can get a job or they can um, learn to drive, um, should be able to book those tests um, quickly. And I was getting a lot of correspondence, particularly from parents really concerned about how long it was taking. And so whilst the last government's um, policy, which was to make it unlimited, uh, free routes that had good intentions, trying to mm. make it easier and more affordable. Um, ultimately, good intentions led to bad outcomes for New Zealanders um, who were waiting many months for stories of people in Auckland um, trying to get bookings in as far away as Thames or Potong or Rotorua, wherever they, they, they were travelling to all sorts of places in order to try and get a test. Um, was this, was this I mean, a mix of... No, 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 it isn't. Was, was this a mix of not having enough... Um, a d- driver testers, people there to take you through it, or were people just using it basically as a as a kind of a free driving lesson and not well, really well, caring if they was, passed? Well, that was part of the thing I was been getting from uh, driving instructors, some of the, yeah. some of the agencies who operate, and um, people turning up unprepared, so the failure rate was increasing. People using the test as an opportunity to have a driver license, um, uh, so driving instruction. Well, actually, that's not the intent. The yeah. intent is that you turn up as prepared as possible in order to pass. And so um, so we've had to make a change. We've tried to make a balanced change. We're not going back to what it was. You have to pay for 
your first test and then if you fail every single subsequent reset. Uh, we, we, we're, we're asking um, people to pay for their first test. They'll get one free reset as part of that. Um, no. And if they fail a second time, then they'll have to start um, paying uh, beyond that. So that's the that's the middle ground. It's a balanced approach that we've tried mm. to, to come to. So we can still have access for those who where affordability is an issue and people do turn up nervous to their first test and sometimes <laughs> do have a lot of people do have to try again. Um, yeah. But um, but also we don't want the system clogged up, uh, which no. means people can't access these tests, which actually is a bad outcome for. Or well, people are just going to have to actually get off their chuff and learn the test. And, you know, I know it is, it can be hard. Like you said, people get nervous. I mean, I don't know if you passed your first driving some in. I did, but I don't know how I did. Yeah. Um, I, I, so. I, I managed to, but it is a, it is a nervous, um, it is a nervous test. Um, yeah, it to, is. To do. And um, so I think we're trying to find a balanced approach. So I completely reject where, where Labor is trying to defend they're trying to defend 60 plus wait time days of wait times for tests, which I think mm. most New Zealanders um, quite don't, don't think is a good thing. And the reality is the increase in time went from 13 to 60 immediately following the change of their policy. Yeah. yeah. Um, a quick change subject here, Minister, if that's all right. I see the Carterton District Council is saving up to 3,000 per day per job by closing roads temporarily instead of using the uh, the go the stop go traffic management uh, makes sense to me what, what did you make of that when you heard that oh look I'm a big supporter of this type of uh, these type of um, approaches to maintaining roads I mean one it shows how expensive traffic management is yeah. but actually um, where there is an alternative and you've got the opportunity to communicate with those people who's uh, who might have need access to that particular road one it's it's safer for the road workers Two, it's cheaper from a traffic management perspective. Uh, three, you can actually get it done faster. And actually, that's what the New Zealand Transport Agency um, did with Brindurwins recently, where they, they closed the Brindurwins down. They were there for four months. They got in. They moved 150,000 cubic metres of road. They've made that road far more resilient. They've mm. resealed it. They've got out and reopened it. And um, the alternative would have been um, stop goes with probably people spending as much time waiting behind a stop go as they would have gone through the alternative. Um, and uh, and a much longer period of, the, of of time to actually do that work because the road workers were then competing with um, with motorists. And so, um, whilst these things have impacts, and I don't discount them, particularly for Northland, the huge impact they've had to face yeah. recently. Um, this is all about um, finding ways to do things more efficiently and to save money for ratepayers and taxpayers. And um, I'm a big supporter of those type of uh, ways of doing things.